Ubisoft's Montreal Game Boy Advance team, the team that brought Prince of Persia's Sands of Time to life on the handheld, used the engine behind that game to bring the next video game incarnation of the original Star Wars trilogy. Apprentice of the Force is an action platformer video game that follows Luke Skywalker through his Star Wars adventure. The game released on the same day as a 2004 DVD box set and Star Wars Battlefront. The Star Wars Trilogy on DVD. Since the game tells its story from Luke's perspective, it only offers events that Luke actually experienced during the three movies. This means that a lot of elements from the films are not represented in the game, since Luke was not a part of those story arcs. Much of the gameplay takes place in a side-scrolling platforming based environment. As Luke Skywalker, players originally only have access to basic jump and blaster based combat, but as Luke learns the ways of the Force and the Jedi, he gains the ability to wield a lightsaber to attack and deflect. Sometimes, Luke takes control of a ship in vehicle based combat where he must avoid oncoming obstacles while defeating foes. The trench battle of episode 4 and the speeder bike scenes of episode 6 play like basic horizontal shooters. Since the game uses the engine from the Game Boy Advance version of Prince of Persia The Sands of Time, Apprentice of the Force looks and plays a lot like that other title from Ubisoft. Players can even slow down time temporarily, a gimmick that was used a lot in Prince of Persia. The side-scrolling missions are fun to play, but tend to go on for a bit longer than they should and lack a certain creative flair. Some missions do spice up the action, but overall the game keeps giving the same mission in a different environment. While the game is based on one of the best movie trilogies ever made, the storytelling aspect of Apprentice of the Force is one of the weaker elements. It tells its story with still screens featuring poorly rendered character faces to represent who's talking. It's a big step back from the Attack of the Clones video game released on the same Game Boy Advance. This doesn't make Apprentice of the Force a bad game. It offers smooth and stunning animations during its missions, but it overstays its welcome. While there's a lot of fun to be found in this handheld version of the Star Wars trilogy, it doesn't offer the best Star Wars experience on the Nintendo device.